We're breaking down the techniques that Per Se, a three Michelin star restaurant uses so you can create their elevated chicken dish at home. Then we're gonna go over their techniques for making a modern sauce supreme. A link for the recipe and a video on how to break down the chicken are linked in the description. Per Se uses poulard, which is a younger, smaller chicken that is fed a fattier diet. They are pretty hard to find in the US, so look out for chickens in between three and a half and four pounds. Start by removing both of the legs. Then remove the skin from the whole bird. Move the bones from one of the legs, both of the breast, then chop the bones into smaller pieces. To make the confit, mix 150 grams kosher salt, 45 grams of sugar, 1.5 grams of thyme, 1.5 grams of grated lemon zest, with 1 gram of ground black pepper in a bowl. Place down some plastic wrap onto a tray and place down half of the cure. Lay the bone and chicken leg down and top with the remaining cure. Wrap the plastic wrap around so that the cure is covering the entire leg and refrigerate for two and a half hours. Rinse off the cure and pat dry. Into a sealable vacuum bag, place the cured leg with five grams of thyme, two garlic cloves, two bay leaves, and the rendered fat from the skin. More on this later. To prevent from making a huge mess, use cold rendered chicken fat or duck fat. Heat a water bath with an immersion circulator to 176 degrees Fahrenheit, 80 degrees Celsius, and cook the legs for five hours. If you don't have a vacuum sealer or an immersion circulator, I have instructions in the recipe so you can make this recipe without them. Once cooked, allow the chicken to cool in the fat. To easily remove from the fat, warm it up for a minute or two. Remove from the bag and dry with a paper towel, being sure to remove all the time. Pick the meat, being careful to remove all the bones and veins. Then run your knife through the meat to finely chop and set aside. For the mousse, cut the boneless legs into a large dice. You'll need 200 grams of leg meat. If you don't have enough, trim off some of the meat from the carcass. To make the smoothest mousse possible, Per Se uses a chilled meat grinder with a medium sized die and grinds the chicken through twice. Chilling both the meat and the meat grinder will help prevent the meat from smearing. Use a chilled food processor to blend the chicken until it is smooth. Then add in 30 grams of egg whites and briefly blend. Scrape down the bowl, then add in 5 grams of potato starch and 4 grams of kosher salt. It's important not to overwork. Excess heat can cause it to break. With the machine running, slowly add 90 grams of heavy cream, then 40 grams of creme fraiche. This is Per Se's basic mousse base and can be used with other proteins. The finished mousse should have a nice sheen. Place the mousse into a chilled bowl and cover with plastic wrap to smooth out any air bubbles and store in the fridge. To get the crispiest skin, Per Se grinds the skin through the meat grinder to get the skin very fine. If you don't have a meat grinder, chop up the skin as small as possible. Place into a sauce pot and render over low heat until the skin is GBD, golden brown and delicious, about 30 minutes. Strain from the fat, then finely chop the skin. The render fat can be saved later for the sauce. Place into a container lined with a paper towel, and once at room temperature, cover and set aside. If you cover the skin while it's still warm, it'll steam out the skin, making it soggy. To make the rillette, combine 75 grams of confit, 100 grams of mousse, 5 grams burgundy mustard. This stuff is amazing. 1 gram of minced shallot, 1.5 grams of kosher salt, 2 grinds of black pepper, with 2.5 grams of roasted garlic puree. There's a link in the description for the burgundy mustard, along with other hard to find ingredients and tools I use for this dish. Combine all the ingredients and place into a piping bag. To make it easier to fill, use a cup to hold the bag. The remaining mousse can be cryovacked and saved for another use. To make the roasted garlic puree, remove the ends from the garlic bulbs. Add the garlic bulbs to a medium pot and cover with water. Bring this to a boil, then turn off the heat and remove from the pot. Bringing this to a boil will help bring out some of the assertive garlic flavor. Place onto a sheet tray with aluminum foil over a tray with a rack. Sprinkle some salt on the cut side, then drizzle with extra virgin olive oil. Place a second sheet of aluminum foil on top, crimping the edges. This will allow the garlic to roast and steam at the same time. Place into a 325 degrees Fahrenheit, 162 degrees Celsius oven for one 
to one and a half hours. The garlic should be cooked through and GBD. Remove the garlic from the foil and with a cut side down, press through a strainer into a bowl. The garlic puree can last for seven days in an airtight container in the fridge or frozen for up to three months. To assemble the chicken, lay the breast onto a cutting board with the tender facing up. Use a knife to remove the white tendon, which will become chewy if left in. Lift the tender up, making sure to keep it attached. Sprinkle some water and shake on meat glue. Then place the tender back down and flip the breast over. Then lay out a nine inch plastic wrap and place the breast one third from the bottom, running the same way as the plastic wrap, with the tender side down. Pipe the rillette down the middle of the breast, then using an offset spatula, spread the rillette a fourth of an inch thick over the top of the breast. Pull the top end of the plastic wrap over the breast and tighten the plastic wrap to shape the breast. Fold the plastic under the bottom of each side of the chicken, keeping the bottom flat and the rillette domed. Place the chicken with the plastic wrap into a vacuum bag and seal and cook in a circulator at 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 60 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes. To make what Per Se calls a super stock, add the bones from the chicken along with 1200 grams or about a quart and a half of chicken stock. Bring this to a boil and cook until it has reduced by half about 30 minutes. To tell what half is, I like to mark the pot with a sharpie where the starting and finish level are. The sharpie will come off when you wash the pot. Strain through a chinois, then reduce by two thirds to around 200 grams. Use an immersion blender to emulsify the stock while it cools down. Then blend in 55 grams of cold rendered chicken fat. To make the sauce, Bring 200 grams of cream to a gentle boil and reduce to 75 grams. Add in 200 grams of super stock and reduce by half. Fully emulsify in 100 grams of cold cube butter, which will give the sauce a nice body and sheen. Season the sauce with lemon juice and armagnac. Don't tell TK, but I used cognac. Until you are happy with the flavor, then add salt and last. One thing I like to do with all my sauces is to give them one last blend with the emulsion blender. This will greatly improve the body and through some kind of voodoo magic, elevates the flavor. Remove the chicken from the bag and trim the ends, which can be saved as chef snacks. Slice the breast on a bias into two pieces. Then brush the top with burgundy mustard and roll the breast into the crispy skin. Place the chicken onto the plate with the sauce in the center. I really like how simplistic this dish is. It really is all about the chicken. The chicken is super tender, the mousse is nice, and it has nice crispy skin. But the thing that really sets this dish apart is the sauce. I'm definitely gonna be stealing the sauce and using it in other recipes. And as for temperatures, at 140 degrees Fahrenheit, this chicken's super juicy. It has a slight rosé color to it. If that doesn't sound appetizing to you, I would sous vide it at 155, 160. If you wanna create your own dishes like this one, you have to check out my dish creation course, linked in the description. To have a great sauce, you have to start with a great stock. Check out this video to see the French Laundry's chicken stock.